So we're getting close to the middle of June here on the Saskatchewan prairies and most of my garden is all planted. But if you haven't started planting your garden or you are still wanting to fill some empty spaces or try a few different things, it's not too late. I've gone through all my seeds and these are all the seeds that I can still plant in my garden mid-June that will be ready for harvest before the last frost date. So let's go through them and see what you can still plant in the middle of June in your garden. Okay, so I have all these seeds sitting in front of me here and trying to decide which ones I would still like to try planting into my garden. So you need to think about how much time you have before your last frost date. And I'm kind of gauging this on zone three and zone four um, gardening time. So normally from you know beginning of the season till the uh, first frost date of the fall we have about 110 to 120 days of growing time outdoors so that's kind of the number that i'm working with so as we are heading into mid-june that leaves us with about 70 to 75 days of growing time before we are at risk of having um, frost and the gardening season being over so with that in mind, I am looking over my seeds and looking at maturity dates that have about 60 days or less, which should give me enough time to plant them now and hopefully get a harvest. So it could be that you've already got your garden planted um, or that maybe you are just getting started planting and wondering if uh, you can still throw some seeds in the ground. So either way, I'm gonna be doing some succession planting. I'm going to be filling in spots in my garden that um, don't have anything planted so you might as well stick some seeds in there and also kind of looking through everything that has sprouted as far as my my root crops and peas so things like my cucumbers beans I noticed there's a few spaces that uh, nothing came up so I'm just going to be uh, replanting some seeds there so the first thing I'm going to uh, look at planting in the next week or so is some more beets um, as you can see I have I think I have five different kinds here I planted only two kinds right now and so I'm going to go review my space and maybe try some different ones so for beets the maturity time is normally somewhere between 50 to 60 days so still lots of time to get them planted um, you can harvest them early as you know just for the greens you can let them stay in the ground late into the fall and usually protect them with um, frost cloth or something when it gets cold and and so that you can get a bigger beet so i'm just going to look through here a couple of these i've already planted the the beets bland and i think it was the the bull's blood i've already planted so i might try some different varieties i have a golden beet which is really tasty and the Chiaga beet, which is kind of a striped beet. So, beets definitely get some more in there. This carrot here has a, a quicker maturity date than most carrots. It's uh, 65 days. And this is a Neptune carrot from West Coast Seeds. So I'm gonna try sticking some more of these in a few empty spaces. Turnips are a fast growing root crop of with a maturity of only about 55 days. So. Those can still go in. So cucumbers are something that you can still get into the ground now and plant from seed. I see on looking through my packages here, the maturity dates range from um, as soon as 45 days up to about 65. So this one here in particular, this quarantine says 45 days. So that's a pretty fast growing cucumber. Um, I noticed, like I said, I have a few spots where the uh, the cucumbers didn't germinate, so I'll be uh, replenishing and replanting some cucumbers. And of course the lettuces are one of those uh, plants that are really good for succession planting. You can start them um, early spring and then every three weeks just plant some more if you have the space. I actually um, set up my containers this year so that I've only planted half so far. They're coming up. I'm ready for my first harvest of lettuce, I think, today. And so I'm going to go out and plant the other half of my containers with some more lettuces, arugula, spinach, um, any of these 
kind of just leafy blends um, are fairly quick to grow. 38 days to maturity for leaf lettuce, 35 days for arugula, spinach 40 to 48 days. So peas and beans are also uh, something that you can succession plant, you know, a couple times during the spring and summer. These two peas that I have here are um, a bit longer. I'm pretty sure you can find some that maybe have a lower, a quicker maturity date. Uh, these ones are 63 to 68. So I'm going to throw some of these in. Um, I found a new spot for some more peas, so I'm going to try planting some more right away here. And of course, beans are pretty fast growing and the maturity date on them ranges from about 50 to 60 days. Um, I do have a few spots where uh, my purple pole beans didn't uh, germinate, so I'm gonna go back and replant a few more and maybe see if I can fit any more of these uh, bush beans somewhere in another container. And of course, radishes are something that you can plant all summer long. They're probably the fastest growing vegetable that I grow anyway here in zone three. 28 days to, you know, 35 days, you'll have radishes. So the way I do my uh, succession planting is I use a couple of old flower pots and I'll plant one kind of uh, radish and as it starts to germinate and grow I will get another one going in another pot and then when this one gets harvested I will plant up another batch and then this one should be ready. So I like to have a variety of radishes there's of course all sorts of different kinds and just keep them going keep churning them out every you know couple weeks all throughout the summer. So as far as herbs I been, was looking through all my herbs here and noticed that a lot of them have a pretty long maturity date if I was to try to plant them from seed and I sorry I didn't get enough going um, this spring by seed so you can also hit the greenhouse and find some of these plants that are you know pretty well established and stick them in different spots in your garden and get them going. So I just wanted to run through a few of the seeds that you can still plant in the middle of June, even if you're in a shorter growing season, such as I am here in zone three, zone four and five, still time to do that. So if you enjoyed this video, please uh, leave me a comment below, hit that like button. And if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe so that you don't miss out on any more videos coming to my channel. Thanks for watching.